Hey everybody, uh, PC Attic 365 here with you today and uh, we're going to be discussing Windows Experience Index and what it actually is. Okay, um, Basically a general idea of what it is is like a performance test to check how good your computer runs and how well it, functions, how well it functions on like a day to day basis pretty much um, for real world use. So it tests your, uh, like your hard drive transfer rates, tests your RAM, see how good your memory performs. Um, it'll test your uh, graphics card as far as for gaming and the rest of that. Um, basically just tests your whole system to see how well it actually works. So if you get like a score like one, one or two, um, you can pretty much run Windows, um, run your basic tasks, surf the internet, check your email, uh, stuff like that. Um, you're gonna struggle trying to even play HD video and stuff more than likely or run any of your like video editing and higher end software and stuff. Uh, if you have a score of, like three somewhere in there um, you'll be able to use like uh, Windows Vista you'll be able to use like Arrow which is like your new I don't know basically like interface for your uh, operating systems kind of just makes it that makes them look a little fancier as like transparencies and whatnot um, so three not bad you can run everything for the most part still probably struggle um, playing HD video back like steady or even probably editing it you might struggle um, now if you have a system that jumps up to like a four or a five you should be good for playing like 3D games for the most part. So as long as you're not trying to run everything on uh, max specs for uh, like gaming and 3D gaming and stuff, try not trying to run like Battlefield 3 on ultra settings or whatever, um, you should be alright. But that all depends on your graphics card. I mean there's so many ways to customize a PC. That's why I run the tests, you'll see what your numbers are. but. Um, anyway, it just it's just a general guideline. So if you have a four or a five, you're up there on the higher end of your PCs, um, and it should be pretty good. So I figure I'd run the test on mine, check what I got for scores. I'm running uh, i7 3930K at stock speeds, uh, GTX 680 Super Clocked Edition by EVGA, um, 32 gigs of RAM, uh, Corsair H100. So. I expect to get really good scores and I'll show you guys a test here in a minute and you can see for yourself what kind of scores I'm getting with it. Uh, they're pretty good so I'll show you that in a little bit here. But I have no trouble editing HD video like I can be rendering out HD video on this screen uh, watching more HD video than I just recorded on this one and it doesn't even slow the system down. I have 32 gigs of RAM, the most RAM I've used yet. Um, while editing and doing everything is like in actual in use RAM is like 19 point I think it was 7 or 8 gigs so far so I haven't even come close to using all of it yet but that may change in the future once I get into some other programs and stuff so alright so the Windows Experience Index rating that's give you guys an idea of what it actually is just an overall general um, idea of how well your computer will perform for like daily tasks pretty much so just a guideline so all right take it easy uh, if you like my videos subscribe favorite share um, stay tuned for more videos if you have any uh, recommendations for anything else you'd like me to basically explain or like check into and run any more performance tests on my system just suggest them leave them in the comments and i'll make another video and i'll post it up for you guys to see so until then pc attic 365 take it easy we'll catch you guys on uh, another day all right so you guys might be wondering um okay windows experience index like how do i find it do i have to download a program how do i test my system um actually all you have to do is go to your control panel and it's right in there um, I'll show you how to do that right now. Uh, here we go. Just go over to, uh, go to start, go to control panel, go to system and security, 
Um, this is in Windows 7, by the way, Windows 7 Ultimate, so yours might be a little different. Um, I just go to view amount of RAM and processor speed. And then down over here, you will see, well, right here it shows your Windows Experience Index, the rating right here. So, otherwise you can click over here to the performance information and tools. And then uh, here it is here. It's got your processor, your memory, your RAM, your graphics, all this stuff. And you can see my results right here. But I'll show you the test here now in a minute. Alright, what's up everybody? As you can see, I'm uh, running my Windows Experience Index uh, score rating right now. Just finishing up. I'm updating the uh, score. <clears throat> so we'll see what we got. My previous one was on there, but I had never ran the test since uh, starting up the system, so I figured I'd redo it and see what it turns out to be. So as soon as this finishes, we'll see the uh, updated scores. Shouldn't take too long. Um, my computer's got a i7-3930K running stock speed, um, GTX 680, um, EVGA super clocked edition at uh, 1124 megahertz, uh, 32 gigs of RAM, Corsair Vengeance. Okay, so the processor is at 7.8, memory and RAM are at uh, 7.9, graphics are at 7.9, uh, gaming graphics 7.9, primary hard disk 7.9, Base score is 7.8 because it goes by your uh, lowest score. Um, so, as you can see, it says the uh, Windows Experience Index assesses key system components on a scale of 1 to 7.9, uh, the higher being better. So, got a pretty good system here. <clears throat> 